Okay, I'd like to demonstrate a technique that I've uh, figured out for exporting from exam view and importing into Moodle and then uh, taking a few simple steps that will link all the graphics from the imported questions at once instead of having to link the graphics individually. So first thing we need is some exam view questions here. So I'm going to get an exam view question bank going here and create a new test from scratch. I never keep the test so uh, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to call it test uh, example. At least I could spell it right though. Test example. And I like to uh, select while viewing. And I uh, need some questions for an algebra class that I know. So I'm going to go ahead and get some that are actually useful for me here as well. Whatever question banks you're using, it doesn't matter. Linear functions. I happen to know there's some in here that work for me. So I'm going to choose this one here that has a table. And here's one that's find the slope of the line. And another one, does this represent direct variation? Right. And one more word problem right here. So I've got four of them on there. And this is just a demonstration. Now normally what I would do is I would come in here and use this calculator and duplicate the question. And uh, you can do that in exam view until you get a message that says no more unique values can be found. Now one thing I find when uh, importing into Moodle is if there's some text outside of the question like we see right here, that will often cause Moodle to seize up and not import anything past one of those once it runs across one. So what I do to avoid that problem is, is I copy that text and then I paste it inside each question where it's needed and then get rid of this one here. So I'm just going to go ahead and save this um, Now it's time to export these questions. I've got uh, six questions on the test. Normally I would do this for a couple hundred. Export to Blackboard 6.7. Put them on the desktop. And it's going to be linear equations 1. Since I know I'm going to be doing this later to get even more questions. same name here and same name down here with the addition of another word or phrase on there to indicate that this is the unique name for the graphics folder. I call all mine pics. Uh, you can call them graphics or images or whatever you want. So the name of the export file is Linear Equations 1. The name of the folder that the graphics are going to be stored in for these questions is Linear Equations 1 PIX. So that should have exported fine. So we look over here on the desktop and there it is. I'm going to extract these now. And there the folders it has been extracted. The file we want to import is this one here called res.dat. Now the images are buried down in here in this folder called res with the zeros behind it. So we drill down in there until we find it. There it is, linear equations 1, picks. And I will go ahead and send it to a zipped folder. You need to rezip any folders that you're going to upload into Moodle. That one's got the zipper on it. It's zipped. Okay. Good to go. Back here, this is uh, coming over to my home course page that I want to upload these questions in. In this case, it's an algebra class. Over here on the left-hand side, under the administration section, we see questions. All right. Now, I like to have my categories uh, set up in a certain way to do this. So, just real show you quickly how I work that. If I look at my categories, I've got one at the very top level called Import. I bring all questions that are non-processed into there. Now I like to have another 
category, which I'm going to add down here in the bottom. The parent is going to be the top called XML in. XML in. And I add that category. Come down here, that always puts it at the bottom, and I want to move it to the top, so I just click that arrow and it'll pop it back up to the top. So now I've got two empty categories here, XML in and import. And I'm going to import those questions that I just had. So come over here to questions into my import category. Okay, so I'm in the questions mode, I choose import. Blackboard category is import. I would just trade, change these to nearest grade if not listed and don't stop on an error before. Over the desktop, linear equations one. Didn't really spell that the way I wanted to. It's not going to hurt for demonstration purposes. I'm going to upload that file. Importing six questions. And there they are. Notice here we have some graphics images that do not show up. Okay? Now, back over here in questions, I want to export those exact same questions. So I've put them in the import folder. There's six of them in there. Don't need to write the categories. I'm going to use the Moodle XML format and give it a interesting name, XML. All right. So I'm going to export every question that I just imported now back out from the exam view format into the Moodle XML format. did it. All six of them. Now I want to download the category file. I want to open it with Notepad. Okay, now it's ready to be processed further. So I'm going to save that file off to the side and over here I come back to my Algebra home location over here in files is where I need to upload the graphics images for this set. So I upload the file, browse for it. Remember if we drill down in this folder we will find that zipped version that we created. And it's called linear equations one pix zip. There it is. And we upload it. There it is, linear equations, one pix zip. We unzip it. And there's all the graphics images for those questions. Get rid of the zipped folder. We don't need it anymore. We delete it. Yep. Okay. So now I've got a folder here. Linear equations, one picks. There it is. And if we look in there and pick any particular one, and we can see its path is down here at the bottom there. See, it's HTTP alloc dot blah blah blah, the name of whatever your alloc server is, and then the name of the folder and the graphics name. Now, the easiest way to grab that path is to come back to your course page go into questions mode into the import folder and find one that you know is going to need a graphics image. So if we look at this one there's four of them in the answer choices right there. All right. Uh, this one's not helpful because it's not uh, the picture is not in the question stem. Now I seem to remember that uh, this one right here 
has a picture of a graph in the question stem. And there it is right there. It's, so what we need to do is select that, come over here to images. Normally you would do this all one at a time. So MC03-1JPEG. Notice this path right here. This is a bogus path. There's no way for Alec to find anything in that path. But if I come down here to linear equations, There it is, linear equations one. Open it up, find MC003-1. There it is, select it. And I can grab that path right there. I'll grab it. All the way to the slash right there. I'm going to copy that. Don't need to even OK it or anything. All I've done is copy that correct path to that image. Okay. Now I come back over to my XML file here and under Edit I go to Replace. Okay. Now I'm going to replace everything in the path up to where it says Linear Equations 1. So if I look in here, I can get the part that I want to replace. There it is right there, PPG exam view. That's the bogus path inside the quote marks. So I select that part right there, copy it, and that's what I want to find and replace. So everywhere in the path for these graphic images, I'm going to replace that path with the correct path in Alex. And I'm Alex, that's what we call it, Moodle. I'm going to replace every single one of them. There we go. Done with that. Save this file. I want to make sure it has an XML suffix on it. So I don't want it to be ending in doc text. So I got it's a uh, Inner equations, XML dot XML. You probably come up with a better naming convention if you like. This is over in my documents folder. Saved it. Okay. Now back to questions mode. I'm going to come over to my category. XML in. There's nothing in there right now. Now I'm going to import Moodle XML format because that's what I saved that in. Don't need to get the category from the file. Browse. It's over in my document section. Find it here. It's L E X M L in. There it is. You see, type XML document. Upload this file. And lo and behold, you can see right away that when it uploads it, the graphics are all there. This one here, the graphics are in the answer choices, so they don't show up right here, but they will show up later. So I come over here to questions. In the XML in, I've got all these right here. And if I test this question, for example, see the graphics are appearing and there's no need for me to go in and link the graphics individually for every one of these. It's totally ready to go. And you can see if I had 200 questions in there, this would have saved me a tremendous amount of time. All that's left to do now is just move these questions into the proper categories uh, where they go. And that's how you do it.